Please welcome Natalie Incarnacion. What's up, Natalie? Hey, hey, how are you, Joy? Good. Okay, this is adorable behind you. Are you in a craft room? What is that? Is that your online it's, preschool wall? No, this is my regular classroom. I have a calendar on the wall <gasps> and I can take it out and move it around nice. because yeah, yeah. I don't like to sit still. So right. I just take it up and move it around. But I made it big in case I go back to online because I still there kind of miss it. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Now, uh, Natalie is on our team as well, and she doesn't get as much FaceTime with you because she doesn't do Tech Tuesday or Support Saturday, but just know that she's behind the entire business. So everything that we do in preschool system, she's got a hand in all of it and she supports it all. So <laughs> we just love <laughs> Natalie. Um, but let's go back a second because you do have your own preschool program, but let's take mm -hmm. us back and tell everyone, where were you um, in your life? What were you struggling with before we came, before you found me? Yeah, well, it was pretty bad. So I found you February 2020. Um, but honestly, I was on this journey of trying to find um, an alternative, you know, business for, right. gosh, before you three, at least like six years, right, of yeah. starting and failing in businesses. So I was just, I was working for the federal government. I was stressed out. I was working really long days and hours. I had kids um, and I just wasn't the mom I wanted to be. I was, you know, what we call mean mommy was the former version of me where after you're working all day at a stressful job and then you have to come home and parent, you're not always the best parent. You probably could be right didn't sure. have the patience i was tired i just want to come home eat dinner and like sit on the sofa and rest but yeah. you can't do that when you have babies right they right. need you they've been at daycare mine were at daycare for like 10 hours right yeah. they drop them off at 6 a.m pick them up you know well 6 30 a.m pick them up see my cat's tail pick them <laughs> up at like 5 36 p.m right so wow. they, they're happy to see me when i pick them up and i just didn't have anything left to give there just wasn't mm -hmm. enough of me to go around yeah um, and i was tired of giving you know the energetic fun natalie to my job because by the time right. i got home like that part of me was already gone i already gave that away for 10 hours earlier in the day i just didn't have the energy yeah. Um, so once I started having kids, I just, I started tons of business guys. Like, I think I was born an entrepreneur. I think I started like a jewelry business at six months old. Like it's just <laughs> always been in my DNA. I've always been the side hustle chick. Right. Um, yeah. but I knew I needed more than the side hustle. I need something that can replace a professional government salary. Yeah. Um, otherwise you're just working 20 hours a day because you have your full-time job and then you have your side hustle. So eventually right. You know, the side hustle needs to be the main hustle. Um, <laughs> yeah. The whole goal is to win back your time, right? Right, right. That's that's the goal. So yeah, started yeah. tons of businesses and some were good, but still not enough to replace a full-time income. Yeah. So then I would just stop doing them if I didn't see mm. potential in it replacing it because like it was the opposite of what I needed. I need more time. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, and that's a good point is that some of us in our many years of life, we have tried mm -hmm. multiple things, but we've also, like you said, it didn't work out within week one or month one or mm -hmm. month three. And then we've got some kind of external conversations going on either in our own head or by friends or family. Like, oh, yeah. oh is this going to work out just like the other ones all did? Is this going to fail? Yeah. Is this one failing too? And then, of course, you've got that on your loop in your head. And it's like, well, fine. Yeah. You know, everybody else is like, just go get a job, right? That's what they tell 100%. you. 100%. So. Yeah. Don't yeah. quit a good government job. Are you crazy? You know, got yeah. it. From every corner, family. Like, what yep. are you talking about? You're living the dream. You you went to school. You got the dream job. Mm -hmm. You're making the money you wanted to make. And yeah, mm -hmm. I'm depressed every day. I'm having panic attacks at work. My kids kind of hate me, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't live like in the dream. It's the dream. <laughs> I can pay my bills. Yay. That's what life is all about. You can pay your bills. I did it. No. <laughs> Okay. So let's, uh, so now then you found me, right? You're scrolling on Facebook. Probably. I imagine you found the book. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't no? even know about the book. I didn't know about the free group. Like I I've always, me. well, I, you know, I had already talked to my husband about like, I was desperate. I was like, I'm going to stop doing the business I was doing. And I was like, I need like something. And I was like, maybe I should do what everybody else does. Do a home, you know, a home uh, daycare. daycare. And yep. he's like, no, absolutely not. You don't need to be doing daycare for 12 hours a day. That's not going to give yeah. you the time you want. Yeah. Um, and so Facebook picked it up, right? The algorithm always, it's always listening. So it picked it up. <laughs> and so 
<laughs> yes. Within probably an hour of that conversation, I get on Facebook and no. it's like Joy's face shows up or in it, back then it was a 30 day challenge for like right. $47. Yeah. Um, so I didn't see any of the other ads. It took me straight to 30 day wow. challenge. I think it was like maybe a Friday. I saw it starts on Monday. I'm like, oh, yeah. holy crap. Where did this come from? <laughs> I was like, okay, I clicked on it. And then of course you see a few more of them. I'm like, I think this is a sign from God or something. I'm like, this is like crazy. So I yeah. mentioned it to my husband and he's like, oh my God, like another business idea. You know, he's, mm -hmm. he's seen it all from me. I, yeah. I have a yeah. idea, but he's like, like really, I was like, it's only $47. So if it's a, a scam or something, I'm only out $47. I'm not investing hundreds. <laughs> like I have in the <laughs> Yeah. You scam me out of $47, right? <laughs> so it's not nearly the investment of all these other businesses I've tried. Right? I mean, I put, thousands of dollars right. into coaching programs. I mean, like in one yeah. year, I think I invested like 10,000. I mean, I put big money in some of these programs, wow. not like nothing from it. I can yeah. do $47. Right. <laughs> so I did. And actually, I actually emailed you first before yeah. I purchased um, the 30 day challenge. And I sent you an email with all the objections my husband had where he was, <laughs> were concerns really um, right. about the space. Cause we were living in a small townhouse and, um, you emailed me back within like an hour and I'm like, there's a real person <laughs> behind here. I'm like, okay. And had an answer or respond yeah. to each one. And I actually took that to him and you're like, okay, well, let's see what it's about. Right. Yeah. And so did the 30 day challenge in February, 2020. Um, and loved it, of course. But even at that point, I still didn't know there was a book. I still didn't know right. there was a free group. You know, it came at yeah, 30 yeah. days free of preschool all stars. Yeah. Um, and then during the challenge, I found out about those other resources. I'm like, what is that? There's that? I was like, I'm just gonna buy everything she offers. And then preschool in a box was offered like at the end of the 30 days. You know, yeah. took that back to my husband. I'm like, it's 50% off, still way less of an investment that I've put in the past. Like six years prior to you, yeah. maybe seven years. I mean, I invested probably ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 in wow. education in like six or seven years trying to start businesses. I'm like, okay, what's another, you know, still a way less investment. So I got mm -hmm. it. I was like, it's foolproof. It's a business in a box, right? Yeah, yeah. Curriculum, yeah. the business plans. I mean, the forms, I was like, it's done for you. And that was the selling point for like me and my family where I'm not trying to DIY everything. That's, I'm the DIY queen. It's always just right. pulling everything together and DIYing it. Um, yeah. It was just really nice to find a program where it was done for you. And you can tailor it to fit like your needs and personality. But I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, like this is success in a box. Like this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and I still use it right now. <laughs> oh, you're amazing. So uh, you you got Preschool in a Box. You joined uh, Preschool All-Stars. You got Hub. You got all the things. You got it all working. Um, yep. You started, I'll just kind of quickly summarize because I, I know the whole story. You started your online mm -hmm. preschool, started your local preschool. You even did after school uh, arts and crafts yeah. clubs. Recently, you hired teachers. Mm -hmm. You've been like growing yeah. like crazy. Um, you're doing a local preschool right now too. So thinking about the women going through the challenge right now, you know, pondering, should they join preschool all-stars? This is going to be like the thing that, you know, all the other things that they've done, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. You know, and is it worth their time and energy to put it into this? Because what if it turns out like everything else? What would you say to them right now? I would say first, like, sit back and reflect on the other programs. I told you, I spent tens of thousands of dollars on other programs and didn't have much to show for it. This yeah. is really a low investment opportunity for what it is. I tell Joy all the time, like, really, she should be charging like 10 times more. Like, <laughs> it's just... It is. These are proven systems and structures. This is not a guessing game. Like this is proven. It is proven to work. These are structures that have been shown to work over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Right. So <laughs> yeah. like, hello, how many programs can you buy that have um, that kind of evidence, you know, mm. backing it up? It's right. proven. This is not a guessing game here. Right. Yeah. Um, you can't get any better than that. Um, when it comes to like self-confidence, I mean, go on YouTube and look up some of these preschool videos. A lot of these people don't even know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize that until I joined like preschool all-stars and started getting training um, on teaching. Like there's, you know, there's resources to teach you how to teach. And I'm like, and I go back to YouTube, I'm like, they're teaching letter sounds wrong. I mean, <laughs> it is, come on. 
And these are big yeah. time millions of follower followers. I'm not going to drop names, but big time right. guys that you go look at those videos. They're not teaching letter sounds correctly. Wow. Uh, a lot of it's not developmentally appropriate. And these people are like gazillionaires on YouTube with millions and billions of followers. And their audience doesn't seem to care that they're actually not teaching it properly. So wow. I think you can probably pull it off for your <laughs> 10 students, you know, in your programs here and there, your 20 students, chances yeah. are that you have access to the resources here to make you even better than those who have millions of followers. Um, it's just, that. you're, it's easy to learn. Um, also remember, you're not offering just like preschool. You're not just offering learning. You're offering mm -hmm. a personalized learning experience. Mm -hmm. And many programs can't offer that. Public schools can't offer that. Pub private schools can't offer it, uh, offer programs like that. It is yeah. literally a personalized learning experience. My mm -hmm. curriculum, my field trips, everything changes every single year because I have different students every year. I personalize it to their interests and what's yeah. going to grab them. You can't get that anywhere. You can't, yeah. and you can't get you everywhere, right? That's the difference. That's and awesome. don't always make it about you. These kids need educators who actually like them go into a school i go to the school i teach at after school the way the teachers are talking to these students blows my mind and you know miss mm -hmm. natalie i'm always in the corner giving them the eye don't talk to my students that way wow uh, yeah I always protect them i'm like you question do they even like you know children you know at this point because they're burnt out too but these yeah. children need educators who will love them and yep. make them feel good and learn in a safe environment and mm -hmm. it's actually really hard to find so it's not just you these kids need you they need you to come up with the confidence um and get out there and so remember you know it's great to have that self-confidence but there are kids out there that need you and mm -hmm. when i stopped making it about me because i joy knows i'm a big scaredy cat with lots and lots of things and she's had to push 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 me over the years um <laughs> but when I, you know yeah she's had to push me especially during these challenges when you have to be more visible i love hiding in the shadows so it's always yeah. the internal battle for me um so joy will push me you know when she needs to because i need it um but then when you stop making it about yourself all the time and start thinking like what are you depriving like these children of mm -hmm. when you're not putting yourself out there when you know you can impact their lives like it just yeah. changes something in you when you know i know the students i have they're giving me hugs and kisses i love you miss natalie i love you so much like your job won't tell you that yeah and these you know and i feel like i'm doing so little and these kids just they will love you love you love you you're yeah. really making an impact and they just can't get that everywhere they just can't they need you yeah, <laughs> yeah. So coming full circle now from, you know, the government job that was leaving you burned out, um, unhealthy. I remember you said that it was, you know, you're getting those anxiety attacks, you know, things yeah. like that. And mm -hmm. then let's come full circle here. You've got your own preschools running. Uh, you have teachers, all these things. How's life better now? It's just nice to feel like in control, you mm -hmm. know, like sometimes when you're on a job, like you just feel out of control. You just wake up one day and you might have been at the job for 10 years. And you're just like, when did I get to this point? You know, it's just yeah. kind of blink and like you just lose time where now it's like um, you have flexibility. Right. You know, my kids have disabilities. And if I was still at my government job, I would not have the bandwidth to deal with all the medical stuff we're dealing with as a family. We have right. tons of doctor's appointments. I can just pick up and go take them. I had to withdraw my eight-year-old out of school last month. There's no way I could have done that if I didn't have the courage to step up and make a change. So I just mm -hmm. withdrew her from school. She's homeschooling yeah. and she's my little assistant teacher. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just things like that where it's like, wow, it really came at a perfect time. It's almost like the universe knew that these <laughs> challenges in our family were going to come up and it needed to prepare wow. me for it mm. because had this happened and I didn't make that jump, I mean, I would probably be in a hospital somewhere. Like it would have been the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. There's no way I could have um, had the energy, the emotional strength to handle life's challenges when yeah. you're already so defeated. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it comes when you need it. You know, and my business came slowly. You know, I've always had students, but it's always been like a slow, slow crawl. And I think yeah. that's exactly what I needed because what Joy, you had said earlier is, I wasn't who I needed to be yet. Mm -hmm. Had I opened and immediately got 30, 30 students, 
I probably yeah. would have shut my doors because I would have panic attacks, right? right I wasn't right. the person I needed to be to handle that. And I still get nervous. Yeah. I have total out of all the programs, I have about 26 students now. And I still am like scared. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure it ever goes away. You just learn how to work through it. And the more mm -hmm. action you take, um, the fear just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. So if I'm really scared, yeah. I know I'm just not doing what I need to do. <laughs> oh, that's action amazing. is the recipe. Yeah. Action is the recipe. That's why we love action takers. So yeah. as we conclude here, is there any last things you'd like to, to say? No, I mean, um, y'all know what you need to do. If you're not going to do this, what are you going to do? Mm. You know, that's something you have to sit with. Um, clearly you're here because there's a change you want to make in your life, right? Um, so if you're not going to do this, then just think, what else are you going to do? Because if you don't do anything, you're going to be where you are. You're going to wake up in a year, five years, and you're exactly where you are now. And if you don't like where you are now, you're going to have to do something different. So mm. that's just kind of something to think about. If you don't do this, what else is it? Um, and this really is a life changer. I mean, it changed the trajectory of my whole life, my family's life, my three children's life. Like, it really is crazy. And like, I still wake up and I'm like, really? Like, I can't believe I did it. <laughs> it works. What? <laughs> it does. And it, I just can't even believe it's been this long. I keep saying February 2020. And I'm just like, yeah. I can't believe I finally, Almost like, four years coming did up. It. What? It's just nuts it really is nuts so yeah. um just something to think about you if you want to create change um this is the program that's going to do it but you know you have to love kids you have to enjoy working with kids yep. if you have those elements like everything else is already done for you i didn't have yeah. experience teaching but i was really good with kids i loved being around kids i miss being around kids yeah. and that's all i needed mm -hmm. everything else can be learned I can't be a licensed teacher because it's a public school credential where I'm from. So if I don't work in the public school, I can't get a license. So that's not in, really an issue. So don't worry about licensing or, yeah. you know, as a certified teacher or whatever. Like, it's really like not a thing. That's more of like a public school thing. Yeah. Um, don't let that sit in your head. Get over that. I'm not licensed teacher. I will not be a licensed teacher because I'm never going to work in the public school system. Yeah. Um, and the students are there. They're looking for something different because the mm -hmm. certified teachers at school are not nice to them. <laughs> <laughs> they're all leaving the school district to come start preschool. Because <laughs> they're burnt out. Yes. Yeah, school yeah. teachers are burnt out and tired. And uh, yeah. just because you have a certification does not mean you're a good teacher. You can go into yeah. any elementary school and observe or, or volunteer and you will see that and gain your confidence, you know. But yep. the more you do, the more action you take, the more confident you will be. So yes. just I do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Natalie, you're awesome. Thank you again for being here, friend. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Joy. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.